the quick release wheelchair leash has three components. First is the, um, the detachable leash. So the detachable leash is what attaches to your dog, just like a normal leash would. The second component is the chair attachment. So the chair attachment is going to mount to the wheelchair and then the leash clips onto the attachment. Um, so for example, uh, when it's attached to the chair, uh, it's a single leash and then it can be removed and attached as needed. And the third component, which is optional, um, is going to be a traffic lead handle. So if I wished to use this leash separately, I can still leave the leash attached to the dog and I can clip on this um, very simple, just a 12-inch uh, uh, long handle. And so now I have just a regular dog leash uh, that we can go take a uh, relief break or what have we. Um, another optional component is a belt loop. So if I were ambulatory, um, I could wear this on my belt and then when I get out of my chair, I could clip the same leash to my waist and now I have a hands-free leash attached to my waist. So either way, if I'm either walking or using my chair, I can have the leash attached. Um, I'll set the optional components down. Um, I'd like to show you how the uh, wheelchair attachment works. It's very simple. We've designed it so that it is rather universal and can attach to most any chair. Um, so it has a couple of pieces here. Uh, this first piece is uh, just a, a shelf liner. It's a grippy material just to give some texture and some grippiness um, and perhaps even a little circumference if you need um, to make this bar thicker. So this is easily trimmed with scissors to fit as needed. Um, so I'm just going to stick that on there. And then there's a length of Velcro. The length of Velcro goes onto the swivel component of the leash and then just wraps around. And I like to use it around the grippy stuff because it gives it a nice secure um, anchor. Uh, the Velcro is just going to wrap around several times through the swivel and around the um, structural part of the chair at the same time until it's attached. And so it's, it's, it's very easy to attach, no tools are necessary. And then this was going to remain on my chair. I've chosen a place where it doesn't interfere with my ability to use the chair, use the brake, um, and that the leash will, as my dog is working, be in a location so that it is short enough to not get tangled in anything and long enough, I've sized this just barely long enough for my large dog to squeeze through behind the chair um, as we go through a doorway. Um, and actually that's how you determine the length is you figure out where you want to attach it on the chair, uh, preferably something that's structural or sa uh, structurally sound because um, if there is any pressure on the leash you don't want to damage um, any component of your chair, you don't want to set yourself up for potential injury by attaching it to a weak spot. Um, so for me that just works right here um, with a dog that doesn't pull, it's um, the right spot for me. Um, and the first one I have shown you is the, the regular side release, quick release buckle. So this is the standard option. It works just like the plastic buckles you typically see on dog collars. This one happens to be metal. So the metal one is much more secure and strong than uh, plastic would be. So that's why we use this particular snap. Um, there's a uh, second option. Um, again, it has the leash and the chair attachment, but this one has a shackle snap. So this one is more of a panic snap release. Um, it attaches the same way onto the chair. I just put it up here on the armrest to show the difference. Um, and this snap releases when you pull a cord. So the leash has just a simple O-ring on the end. I'm going to attach it to the shackle. And so now I have um, the leash attached to the chair. Uh, what's wonderful about this one is even under pressure. So if someone uh, were to get hung up, you can just simply tug this little um, tab and it opens the snap to release instantly.